And we're back! And I'm mad because I just realized that I could be making pretzels this entire time. Alright, and these are our bellhop ghosts. They are special because they'll possess various items and then they'll throw themselves at you. I've been buying them this entire time. I could just be making them. This idea never occurred to me until about two minutes before we started this video. I know! You're such an idiot. One of the upgrades I have bought, in fact the only upgrade I've bought so far, is reduced beam wandering. Basically it makes your uh, proton stream more accurate, so you'll cross the streams less and you'll hit ghosts more. I just, I don't understand why it didn't occur to me. I really don't. And it's around this fight that it occurs to me that I should probably buy the fast trap upgrade because that's like super fucking useful. Oh yeah, it, it totally is. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the next thing I buy. Because look at this. This this goes 1, by 000, like four 2, times 1, faster. 000, 3, 1, there we go. Yeah, that goes by like so five much seconds. Faster. You know, counting the two I missed. Can we please call yeah. And, tell his night off is officially ended? <laughs> and then more ghosts come in. Uh, you don't get to catch any. John Belushi, no. <laughs> all you have to do is just reduce Slimer to just before he's a uh, it'd be caught in the. Capture stream will any capturable. of those. And then was capturable the word you were looking for? Yes, I said in the capture stream, and um, and then all the ghosts will run away, and then you chase after them. One set. Took out boss. Chase it. Yep. See, there you go. Oh, but you don't want to go too far, cause there's a cursed artifact around. If you notice that my PKE turned blue, so. I noticed that the flowers are still standing. You haven't gotten to that part yet. Oh. Yeah, see, look. The, uh, the little ringer. You couldn't get it before because they hadn't taught you how to use your PKE yet. Hey now, is that honey glazed ham in the prime rib? There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef Didn't you learn from the first movie? Done quite enough already. We'll find a way around either way. I mean, come on. Where did his mustache go? I missed the mustache. I don't know, maybe he got hit with the stream and it got captured. <laughs> All right, we got five ghosts and a mustache. Who wants the mustache? Winston gets it. Yep, Winston gets it twice. Even he already has one, but he needs Double the other mustache one. Double mustache power. <laughs> no ghost could stand up to him now. <laughs> you bring your apron. We're gonna take a little shortcut through the kitchen. Oh, Peter, you're so snarky. The Alhambra should be right through. Hello, Chef. And uh, I'm sure traveling through a, you know, a room full of sharp objects while hunting ghosts can't okay. possibly be a good, bad idea, you know? Oh, no, of course not. It's like he's never seen his own movies. Okay, so uh, the stuff on the wall right there, that's black slime. Uh, you can't really touch it right now, but in later levels, if you touch it, you take a lot of damage, so it's best to try and avoid it completely until you I get a different slime, weapon along the line. It's slimy, and it's extremely dangerous. Uh, he would know he's an expert about being slimed. He is. And then... Oh, wait, not quite yet. Okay, so there's a hidden ghost around. You just gotta go into the kitchen, try and find him. Hands up. Oop. Hmm. Hello. Yep. Uh, the waitress left, and I need my check. <laughs> All right, and here he is. Uh, we won't be seeing this guy for a little while, but he sends out some fish minions. You don't have to catch the fish minions. You can just destroy them, and you get like ten bucks for every little fish dude that you destroy. Actually, hmm. it looks like a hundred for every fish dude you destroy. Wow, expensive little fish. They must be, you know, really popular. 
Yeah. I bet Japan's eating them all. They love their fish. This is why I eat out of a can. No, you eat out of a can because you're poor. Alright, check this out. It's no. Random Ghostbusters fact time. The uh, the reason that the part that you shoot with on the proton pack is called a wand is because originally Ghostbusters was supposed to be more fantasy oriented and they actually were wands. It wasn't until later that they decided to change it to being more of a science fiction technology type deal. And there's another cursed artifact over here. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man! I love Stay Puff. I used to have that action figure. It didn't squeak, but I used to have it. I gotta move it again. Eh, good enough. Why don't they just go into the moving business? <laughs> like, as, just part time, you know? Seems like it would be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Parmesan. Huh? Oh shit, I just got that. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to him because he wasn't Venkman. I'm gonna take back blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture screen. Okay, so Slimer is a little is not that much different from the Bellhop ghosts. Although he doesn't possess things, he'll ran, run into you. Occasionally he'll disappear into one of these tables, in which case I think you can just scan it with the PKE meter, but it's just easier to destroy it with your proton pack. Good, good. That's it, buddy. You got the little monster breathing high. <laughs> just destroy this multi million dollar room. If you're going for the destructor, definitely get the uh the chandelier right there that's worth like a couple thousand dollars and conversely if you're get going for the nice shooting text uh, trophy do not get the, the well, we, chandelier no, not, then. because it is worth several thousand dollars all in all slammer's not too hard see that's a big wow Teach that there is an extra achievement in this room uh, for destroying the ham on the table over there. Perhaps a place Bar mitzvah. Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom. The Bar Mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. I'll tell you what. Grow your mustache what back, and then I'll clean it up for you, free of charge. Look, man, I don't know if you know, but the ham, not a good big, not, you know, not a really good thing to serve at a bar mitzvah. So we took care of that for you, though. Actually, I didn't. I left it there. Oh. Because I already have that achievement. I'm not going for them again. I'll point them out as I come along to them, but, like, really. Fuck it. Maximum snarkiness achieved. There's another cursed artifact hidden in here. It's kind of sneaky. You have to go over here. You'll notice that the PKE meter is picking something up, but it's not going, getting a strong signal. You have to destroy this wood paneling over here in order to go into the hollow area behind it, and I, the cursed artifact is back there. I didn't actually know that. I learned something today. <gasps> I know where all the cursed artifacts are. So... I don't really go out of my way to find these things in games, so... I got them because they were worth a lot of money. So... I like... Well, bye! <laughs> See ya! Nice of you guys to join us. You grab the little spud? Ray, we need to have a... No, but we got Slimer, though. Uh-oh. Heads up, your initiation is over. Now give us a hand. We've got a couple of really persistent... I think these are the last batches of uh, bellhop ghosts that you fight. And if you paid t careful attention, I crossed the streams in this fight, I think. I gotta wonder what this hotel is doing to their bellhops. They come back and haunt it after death. I don't know. Not paying them enough, I guess. Probably because they wait make them wear the silly hats. Yeah. 
Though to be fair, those are some pretty awesome silly hats. By the way, you get an achievement for crossing the streams and living, so it's it's not that hard to survive crossing the streams as long as you're you've got a decent amount of health. So Total Protonic Reversal is surprisingly manageable. The the achievement is actually called Total Protonic Reversal. It just gives you a mild sunburn is all. <laughs> a little bit of a tan. Egon likes to really drama it up. Occasionally, though, it will destroy uh, portals to other dimensions where uh, ancient Sumerian gods res reside, so... Nah, it turns out those things were just really weak to the sun. Ah, like, super okay. weak. Like, go to the beach, disintegrate. Here we go! Oh, no. Not quite yet. Actually, it might not be this fight. I know I'd do it at some point in the uh, LP in this video, I think. That wasn't such a chore, now was it? I also think I start playing around with uh. Is going to with Rookie's feet this. again, because no need to I just worry, sir. As you know, the I love his little turning animation when you do it slowly. <laughs> we now invoice the city directly for all I guess not. And eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. No, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. Oh, that Peter! <laughs> Please. Coming to Deep Fox speech. on Sundays. Discretion is our professional watchword. I'm sorry for that. Oh, there's that guy. Whoa, where did he come from? I suppose uh, we should probably the ocean. Unless you want to discuss. I'm, I'm sorry. Guess some sort of boat. Possibly the New York Harbor. Doctor Spangler, check out the angry fisherman. Is he the Gordon's fisherman? No, no, okay. I don't think so. I think he's too big for it to be the Gordon's fisherman. He is wearing this uh, correct kind of coat, though. I think that's just a rain slicker. Eh. It's kind of hard to tell if it's yellow. Ah, shh, 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 shh. This way. Shh. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. What? Huh? What? What would you say? I said it's a cutscene. We shouldn't talk over these. Oh. When's uh -oh. the cutscene? Oh, what? When's the cutscene? Oh, I think it's right. What? Huh? When is the cutscene? Who is that guy? Is this the cutscene? Are we in the cutscene now? Should I stop talking? <laughs> We're so retarded. <laughs> oh. I'm trying. I don't know what your excuse is. There's another cursed artifact up these stairs. So. Uh, the chair doesn't do any damage. I tried going out here trying to see what it looked like before it fire, but... Eh. Ah, you, did you know Ron Jeremy is in Ghostbusters? He is? Yeah, he's an extra. Um, right after the containment unit blows up, and when Egon and Ray are driving back in the, you know, the Ecto-1, you can see him on what, behind one of the guard barricades. He's on the left. Yeah. Weird. I mean, if you have like the widescreen DVD, you can see them, but I don't know why you would not have the widescreen DVD. Okay, this part's really long and super boring. So, uh, because it's just the same hallway but flooded, and I get really lost in it sometimes. And there's a cursed artifact up that way, but I completely miss it. So, yeah, we're speeding Activate this up. Activate Ghostbuster speed. <laughs> yeah, I tend to get lost in this area a lot because it's just a lot of the same looking hallway. That's that's what hotels tend to be. Yeah. You're Even when they're flooded, they're boring. Okay, so here we are. We're at someplace interesting because I slowed down time. Hmm, what's that doing? Oh my goodness! Okay, these guys 
They're like little spiders. Be our guest! Be our guest! <laughs> there were ten dollars to destroy them. They're complete assholes. They'll run into you. They'll throw fireballs at you. Uh, other than that, they're not that interesting. I'm just going to imagine that there's just one guy walking out the hallway. He stakes one step out. He looks around. He turns right back and goes inside. I like to imagine that Rookie's making like little uh, freakazoid noises when I do that. He goes... Alright, uh, here we are. Here's the cursed artifact. Right here, it's a toaster! A toaster. Does it dance? Yes, it does actually. Yay! Uh, if you... It, all your cursed artifacts actually go to the uh, firehouse and you can actually poke around and look at them. You can actually interact with the uh, with the toaster on the pool table, and it'll jiggle around a little bit. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'll sh I'll show it off later. <laughs> At this point, I pretty much know where I'm going, so uh, I don't speed it up. Plus, I'm fighting things. Here's where the uh, danger of the candles start coming into uh, effect is that they're not that powerful but they'll wait to activate themselves and surround you and there's a lot of them so it's a little bit of damage that adds up clever little bastards yes they're still not that terrible to deal with but they can get a little unruly at times they're like head crabs exactly I had headcrabs once, some pills cleared that right up. Feeling thirsty again. It must be all this water that reminds me just how thirsty I am, but I'm kinda thirsty. Ah, oh, this is salt water too. Ah! I know, I wanted to taste out of my mouth with water. Oh no! All right, here's the fisherman ghost. The uh, fisherman ghost isn't that tough. Um, he's got a little more health than the standard ghost, and he'll teleport around, but his only attack is really telegraphed, and if you just keep moving to the left or right, he'll miss you, and you'll get a lot of time to damage him. Uh, he makes up for this by the fact that this isn't the only part of the boss fight. There's another part coming a little bit later because he runs away soon. He actually runs away right now. And it's part time this guy supplies McDonald's with their McFish. Are you all right? <laughs> the funny thing about this cutscene is that in the PS2 version I had thrown a table around and it was right in front of the door and they didn't move away from the door so they were just it just looked like the table was talking to me in like three different voices. He's got something. Let's track it down. Alright, so if you, uh, go over this way, you'll initiate the second phase of this boss fight. Ah! It's a golem made of various kitchen things. He has a ton of health. Wow, that looked like it hurt. He hits hard, too. Like, this, this is the hardest fight in the game so far. There's... The golems tend to be pretty rough, especially since there's not a lot of uh, room to move around in this fight, so you just want to stay far, far away from him, try and blast him, hope he gets uh, distracted by a couple of the other guys, but he will eventually turn his attention back to you. Today's menu is DEATH! With a side order of DIE! And for dessert, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> uh, once you wear down all of his health, you want to switch to the capture stream and yank his uh, helmet off. Turns back into the fisherman ghost. At this point, he's a total puss because it's four on one. And he doesn't... It's just complete free murder. Thanks for eating at Fishy Joe's. 
knives and forks become a big angry giant. That's surprisingly really enough, I do not want long John Silvers right now. Happens every day, Nobody right? wants long John Silvers. <laughs> Anybody here from Zetamore? Hey, the first instance of Winston I'm talking. I'm right outside. At least in this so game. Is something else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was I eating? But well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Only a little? Traffic in New York has really improved. I know that thought. Four hours is a pretty good time. Yeah. It's big. It's clean and soft and white. And you all are alike. It's the Michelin Man! Oh no! no! So, combat is a little different in the PS2 version of the game. Um, basically, the first major difference is that you can actually lock on to ghosts using the circle button. Next, enemies have two health bars, green and red. Green is the traditional type of health bar where you just need to whittle them down from health. Red health bar indicates that the ghost is in your capture stream and is almost ready to, for capture. Slamming a ghost in this version of the game is a bit different. Instead of pulling them in the opposite direction and building up a slam meter, it simply pops up an orange or yellow arrow and you push the right control stick in that direction, at which case you will slam the ghost around, depleting a lot of its red health bar. You don't need to do anything for getting the ghost into the trap short of just placing it over the trap. There's no mini game required to trap the ghosts. During combat, if a ghost flies into you, you can get slimed, at which point you move at something, I believe, around one-fourth of your initial speed. All you have to do is push the square button to become unslimed. As far as story is concerned, the fisherman ghost is replaced by the ghost chef. The chef ghost differs from normal ghosts in a couple different ways. One, he has a lot more health. Two, he will occasionally hide in an oven. While he's hiding in this oven, he will send a couple very weak uh, generic enemies to come fight you. Other than that, he's just basically a normal ghost with more health. And that about does it for the differences in this part of the game, and I'll see you next time.